Hi and welcome to ProtoSpeed Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to uh, teach you how to apply supports effectively on chains and uh, you can use the same supports for printing as well as uh, providing sprues for casting. So let's start with the tutorial. Uh, first, uh, uh, we need to draw a pipe. Uh, our goal here is uh, to draw the supports for printing and casting and uh, print the chain on a single pipe. Uh, so what are we going to do here is uh, draw rectangle. But, 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 but before drawing the rectangle, we need to take out the dimensions. Uh, first, the length of the chain. Uh, we are going to measure up the X and Y dimensions of the chain. So let's uh, leave it here. Now we go to measurement and uh, measure the length of the chain. That is 173.20 mm and now the y dimension is around 13.77 millimeters so we take these dimensions so we can draw a perfect rectangle so we can later convert it on pipe so now when we are drawing the rectangle will give the dimensions let's say 165 because we need some margin to draw the curve which I'll show you later and the width is going to be 20 millimeters because we need uh, at least a 30 milli uh, 3 millimeter margin uh, from the top and bottom to draw the supports. Now since we have drawn the rectangle we will adjust it to the C plane since our chain is already in the center so it will fit perfectly now we are going to explode the rectangle to disjoin the curves because we are going to draw uh, a round curve at both ends turning off uh, turning on points now we can draw this curve using an arc Now as we are done drawing the curve for the pipe, uh, we will draw the pipe. First we are going to give it a color, let's say red. Now we are going to select it, two colors, go to solid and draw a pipe. We are going to give the diameter of uh, two millimeters. So the mistake we did here is we didn't join the curves. So let's delete this pipe and first we are going to join the curves. Give the command join after selecting the curves. Now we can give the same dimension for pipe and now we have drawn our pipe. Now what we are going to do is we are going to tilt our pipe while keeping the chain straight. The logic behind this move is as we know during the 3D printing uh, every layer sticks to the platform and uh, the larger is the surface it creates high suction. So there is a chance that uh, your print might fail. So to avoid uh, to reduce this possibility we tilt the large surface areas a little so all the surface area doesn't stick to the uh, platform all at once. Now we have selected the pipe. Now we will press F4 uh, 
to center the center of rotation and we are going to tilt the pipe a little now we have tilted the pipe now we are going to draw the supports first we will draw the curves now we are going to pipe this curve uh, the start diameter is going to be 0 0.65 then diameter is going to be 0 0.9 so now we have drawn uh, our support so by using the rescale command we can adjust the size Now we are going to draw the second curve for the supports. We are going to pipe it again, giving it the same dimensions. The start uh, diameter is going to be 0 0.65 and the end is 0 0.9. And by scale, we are going to adjust it a little. See that is uh, penetrating enough. So we can clean it easier later on after casting. And we can mirror the same support. We're going to give it a green color. And now using the array command, first we will group it and uh, giving it an array command we can uh, copy uh, these supports to all of the links uh, there are 10 links so let's go to array linear first we have applied now now we will give the number 10 select the reference point and adjust it to the other links So because the pipe is tilt, uh, some supports are, some of the supports are needed to be adjusted. We will select them. There are multiple ways to do it. So now we are going to select uh, only those supports that are needed to be adjusted. So the pipe is selected, we will deselect it using the control key and uh, we will rescale it a little. Selecting a reference point, we'll move a little up and now the rest of the supports are adjusted. We will check. Hmm. So some of the supports uh, are needed to be adjusted again. So we, as we have grouped them, we will individually select them and adjust them. Individually adjusting the supports on each link Since we had uh, given it an adequate length, so we can easily adjust it as we want and the additional length would compensate. We just need to make sure 
that uh, the supports are not penetrating uh, from the bottom pipe. Since we had uh, given it an adequate length, so we can easily adjust it as we want. Now as we are done adjusting the supports, now we can mirror these supports uh, to the top side of the pipe. Uh, but we can see that some of the supports are peeking through the top pipe. So we are going, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the look down perspective, select the supports and we are going to rotate uh, them. Uh, pressing F4, select the center and we are going to rotate them 180 degrees. Now we can see none of the supports are peaking right now. We will check the supports. Everything, everything seems to be okay here. So let me remind you here, the goal of these supports is uh, not for the good printing, but also uh, to help with the good casting. So to strengthen the pipes, we will draw one more support between these links. We will utilize the space uh, that is between the links. So we have a good running of cold and also uh, good strength during the printing. We need to be absolutely sure that uh, the support is not touching any of the links and have, and have <clears throat> adequate space for the investment to settle in. So as we are sure that uh, the support is good, we are going to array it to the other links using using the same error linear command so we have uh, nine links so Now we can see the support is peaking because the pipe is tilted. We can adjust it because we have an adequate length to adjust these supports. Individual, individually adjusting it. Let's copy the same support over here. Now we are going to draw one more supports around the hook. Same process, drawing the curves first, then piping it. We're going to adjust the size using the scale command. And 
and we can mirror the same to the other side using the center. Now using the same scale command, we can adjust the support as well. Now, the goal here is to make a perfect castable chain. So, as we see the second link is uh, surface based and it requires a lot more strength to hold up the investment. So, it doesn't move in any way during casting. So, we will draw this additional support over here to give it more strength. So now, after drawing the curve, we are going to pipe it, uh, giving the first diameter, we will make a little thicker to give it more strength. We are going to give it a color. Let's move it to the first link. So we can array it easily later on. Now what we can do is let's uh, adjust it and uh, Let's rescale it so it penetrates the link. And as you can see, the way we have put it, <coughs> sorry, it will be a lot easier to clean after casting. We have to make sure of that the supports we are putting uh, should uh, we should uh, easily be able to clean afterwards. So now we are going to copy the support. As I said, we need to give the link more strength. And after copying it, we can adjust it. First, we will rescale it. Not in 3D. We will scale, scale it in the side view perspective. Let's try it. If we can do it. If we can scale it here, no loss. A little more tweaking needed. Let's scale it from through perspective. Either we can rotate it or we can move it, but uh, let's move it a little. Yeah, now it has adjusted perfectly. So now we can mirror this supports on the other side. But we will need to adjust it from here as the design is a little diff uh, different on the other side, but no problem, we can adjust it. Same way, we will adjust it and then we will rescale it according to our requirement.
so as we are done with the supports we can easily array it to other links but first okay now we have selected let's go to array linear Uh, nine other links we have to put it to let's select the reference point and as we adjust to the other links same way Now we can check whether it is fitting perfectly. Well, as we have tilted the pipe, some of the supports uh, are needed to be adjusted. We will adjust it the same way again. Let's uh, select them first. as we rescale them from the downside to avoid the peaking the other supports are adjusted as well we will check everything's look good Now we are going to draw the base supports. Uh, we have to be sure that uh, all of the base supports are of the same length. So first we are just uh, draw the curve. And then we are going to pipe it. In the same way, we are going to do the array linear. Uh, let's say 25. Select the reference point. and then pressing the shift key it will adjust the support in the straight line now we have to be sure that all the base supports are of same length otherwise there will be a failed print and uh, as the pipe was tilted so we have to adjust these supports a little bit we rotated it now they are peaking so but not picking much this is tolerable but uh, let's still adjust it a little more by rotating the supports hmm, now looks good copying it here and then here
now to make sure that all the base supports are of the same height let's draw a rectangle then extrude it the rectangle should be straight so after drawing the rectangle we will extrude it Now oh, our triangle is complete. Now let's uh, give it a color. Now we will subtract the triangle from our supports uh, using the difference command. First we will select the support, then we will go to difference, then select the triangle. And uh, when we press enter, now all of our base supports are of same length. Well, the standard is uh, around 5 millimeters, but uh, with our printers, you can go to 2.5. 2.5 is enough. And a final check to all the supports. Let's see what's missing. I think the base needs to have more supports. So let's do it. All of our base. But first, a little branding effect for you as we are going to give away the design. Now let's uh, put uh, more supports on the base in the gaps. We will simply copy it to the gaps the base is little peaking but that's uh, not a really big problem so put uh, more supports on the base in the gaps we will simply copy it to the gaps now as we are done with the supports to be absolutely sure we are going to subtract it uh, with the triangle uh, with the rectangle again just to be absolutely sure that uh, all the supports are of same length so we will just subtract it a little. Here I'm drawing a rectangle. I'll adjust it. And by using the same difference command, I'm going to subtract it with the supports. Now I have <clears throat> selected the supports, press enter and then select the rectangle. Uh, you can call it a box since it's already extruded. Now we have subtracted it and we are done. So this chain will print most likely but uh, if you are still not sure and uh, you are thinking of maybe giving it more strength uh, you can put extra supports but make sure any support you put is easy to clean whether after printing or after casting so what i'm doing here is uh, i'm just opening uh, protospeed's own support software and i've just uh, imported the chain here uh, i believe this chain will print but uh, to be sure, let's give uh, some more supports uh, through the Protospeed software. The main advantage of putting Protospeed support uh, is that uh, supports are easily removable and uh, quite easy to clean. So I believe that uh, we can give a little more strength 
to the link by putting a few extra supports but as I am going to give away the file the design which supports you can do your own experiments you can print it uh, without the, these extra supports As you can see, the software is quite easier to use. We are almost done. Now we will select all the supports and straighten them uh, by clicking make vertical and make straight. All the points and all the supports will be straight. Uh, we can customize the uh, dimensions of the support here. So we can further reduce the size of the cone. And now the supports are ready. Just few last steps. As the design seems to be a little more elevated, we press this button and we will adjust it on zero. Now we can export and our chain is ready to be printed. Thank you for staying with us with this tutorial and happy printing. Last step.